Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the root of the given equation cos x equal to x e power x by Newton Raphson method. And they are given take the value of x naught as 0.5. Let's write the f of x. f of x is written from the given equation by taking all the terms to one side, which is cos x minus x e power x. And we have to find its derivative f dash of x. Cos x derivative is minus sin x and minus bracket open. We have to do, use a product rule x into e power x derivative is e power x plus e power x into x derivative is 1. And we can take the minus sign common throughout. So this is sin x plus x e power x plus e power x. Now using Newton's absence formula, x of n plus 1 is x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n. In the question they have given, take x naught as 0.5. Now using this, we have to find x1, substituting the value of n is 0 here, we get x1 equal to x0 minus f of x0 whole divided by f dash of x0. Now x0 is 0 0.5 minus f of 0 0.5 whole divided by f dash of 0 0.5. Now this is 0 0.5 minus in f of x we have to substitute 0 0.5 this will become cos of 0 0.5 plus we have x e power x sorry there is a minus in so we take minus 0 0.5 e power 0 0.5 then divided by there is a minus in common so we make this as plus we write the remaining term sin 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 e power 0 0.5 this is one term the last term is again e power 0 0.5 now using calculator, we are going to evaluate this change into radian mode. Coming to the numerator part, open bracket, cos of 0.5 minus 0.5 into e power of 0.5, bracket close. So this gives the entire numerator, cos of 0.5 minus 0.5 into e power 0.5 divided by open bracket, sine of 0.5 plus 0.5 into e power 0.5 plus e power 0.5 bracket close. So sine of 0.5 plus 0.5 into e power 0.5 plus e power 0.5. And with this we have to add 0.5. Totally 0.51802. I round off to 4 decimal places 0 0.5180. So this is 0 0.5180. Now we got x1. Using this, let's calculate x2. x2 is by formula x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. So this is Let's write it here 0 0.518 minus f of 0 0.518 whole divided by f dash of 0 0.518. Now this is 0 0.518 minus open bracket cos of 0 0.518 minus e power 0. 518 then also we have x into 
so we have to write a term 0.518 into e power 0.518 because it is x into e power x then coming to the denominator there is a minus sign so we make this as plus now sign of 0.518 then plus 0.518 into e power 0.518 plus e power 0.518 now coming to the calculation part we take the calculator now open bracket 0.518 cos of this minus 0.518 into 0.518 in e power then bracket close this divided by again bracket open 0.518 sin of this plus 0.518 into 0.518 e power plus 0.518 in e power bracket close this whole value you have to add 0.518 we are getting 0.51775 after rounding off 0.5178 0.5178 now this is our x2 now let's find x3 by formula it is x2 minus f of x2 by f dash of x2 so this is 0.5178 minus cos of 0.5178 5178 minus 0.5178 into e power 0.5178 bracket close in f dash of x there is a minus in common so we make this as plus and sin of 0.5178 plus 0.5178 e power 0.5178 and the last term plus e power 0.5178 bracket close now we take calculator and this value open bracket 0.5178 cos of this minus 0.5178 into 0.5178 in e power we completed the numerator part so cos of the value minus the value into e power that value then divided by open bracket 0.5178 sin of that plus 0.5178 into 0.5178 e power of that plus 0.5178 e power of that bracket close and this value you have to add with 0.5178 so after rounding off again 0.5175 after rounding off 0.5178 so this is 0.78 so we got x2 and x3 both are equal so x2 equal to x3 equal to 0.5178 so we can say the better approximate route is 0 0.5178